In this video, we will learn two topics. First topic is order on a set and second topic is bounded set. So what is order on a set? Let's define that one. So order on a set. Suppose S is a set. So let S is a set. Now an order on the set S is a relation is a relation which is uh, denoted by the relation is denoted by less than sign okay with the following two properties with the following two properties so what are the properties the first property is the first property is if two numbers x and y is a member of the set then only one then one and only one of the following of the following statements is true. Statements is true. So what are the statements? So if you consider two number like on the real line if you consider two number one and two or three. So if you consider two numbers, so one is less than two and two is more than one. So if you consider two number, then either one is less than another one, like one is less than two, or both are equal. Like if you, if you have two number, two, two, then both two are equal or x is more than y like 2 is more than 1. So if you consider 2 number then only one of the following three statement is true. Now the second property is if you consider three numbers if x, y and z element of s and so those three numbers are member of the set S and if X less than Y and Y less than Z then X would be less than Z okay like 1 is less than 2 2 is less than 3 so 1 is less than 3 we can conclude that 1 is less than 3 so a set on which on which an order order is defined defined is called is called an ordered set an ordered set okay now what can be an example so for example the set of real numbers the set of real numbers real numbers are because on the real line 
real line from negative infinity to positive infinity. So, if you consider any number, then those two conditions always satisfy. So, the set of real numbers is like ordered set. Now, if you think a set is uh, negative 1, 2, 0, 3. Is it an ordered set? No, it is not ordered set. But if you write this way, like ascending order, negative 1, 0, 2, 3, then this one is ordered set. Okay. So, this one is not ordered set, but this one is ordered, okay, not. because this is in ascending order, okay. So, if you write number either ascending order or descending order, then that would be ordered set. So, now we will learn about the bounded set. So, to learn the bounded set, we need two definition, upper bound and also lower bound. So, what is the definition of upper bound? So, upper bound suppose S S is an ordered set ordered set and E is a subset of S. Now, if there exist a number beta in the set S such that such that every element x in E should be less than or equal to beta. So, every element of for all x in E. Then E is bounded above and beta is called the upper bound upper bound of E. So, a set X, a set E is bounded above if every element uh, of the set should be less than or equal to beta. Okay. I am giving you an example to clarify that. For example, if you consider the set E as X element of R such that X less than 2. The set E, this set is bounded above, bounded above and Why it is bounded above? Because every element of this set is less than or equals to 2. If you draw the number line, if you draw the number line, so this is negative infinity, this is positive infinity, this is 0. So, this set E would be, this is 1, 2, 3, negative 1. So, this set would be less than 2. Okay. So, this set will contain every element on this real line only this part. 
okay only this part and 2 is the upper bound of this set so 2 is the upper bound actually 2 is an upper bound so here what is s the set s is r so this is s and what is beta beta is here too okay now this 2 is called upper bound also any element more than 2 those are also upper bounds so this 2 is upper bound 3 is upper bound 4 is upper bound so any element more than 2 is also upper bound okay. so those are upper bound upper bounds now how about the lower bound so next lower bound b suppose s is an ordered set and E subset of S. Now, if there is a number, if there exist, if there exist a number alpha element of the set S such that every number x of the set E should be more than or equals to alpha. So, for all x in E, this symbol is for all, okay. This is for all, for all x in E. So, then E is bounded below and this alpha alpha is called the lower bound lower bound bound of the set E okay now for example suppose e is uh, x element of r such that uh, x is more than x is more than negative 1. So, if you draw it in number line, so this is positive infinity, this is negative infinity, this is 0 and this is 1, this is negative 1, 2, negative 2. So, here every number is more than or more than negative 1 so every number is more than negative 1 okay so this part it represents this part so what is the lower bound lower bound is negative 1 so this set is bounded below and negative 1 is a lower bound so this set 
is bounded below bounded below and this negative one is a lower bound okay now any number which is less than negative one is also lower bound of this set okay so any number less than negative one so this part suppose negative 2 negative 3 negative 4 those are also lower bounds bounds of the set e now if you consider a finite set suppose if you consider e is negative 1 uh, 0 1 2 this is the finite set okay we have only four elements negative 1 0 1 2 so what is the lowest element lowest element is negative 1 so this set is bounded below and the lower bound is so this is the lower bound okay and this one this 2 is the upper bound so upper bound so if a set is finite if a set has a finite number of elements then the smallest element would be the lower bound and the largest element would be the upper bound now for this set 3 4 5 also upper bound negative 1 here lower bound but negative 2 negative 3 negative 4 also would be lower bound although those point is not on this set okay so far we learn both upper bound and lower bound now we will learn what is bounded set okay. now we will learn bounded set so a set is bounded now we will learn the bounded set so bounded set so a set e is bounded if it is both bounded below below and bounded above so if a set is both bounded below and above then it is bounded set that means it should have both lower bound as well as upper bound for example the set e negative 1 so we need to define x so x element of r negative 1 less than or equals to x less than uh, 2 if we consider then this set is bounded okay and what is lower bound lower bound is negative 1 and this 2 is upper bound okay so if you draw the number line this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is negative 1 this is negative 2 this is positive infinity and this is negative infinity so this set e is only this part from negative 1 to 2 from negative 1 to 2 so this is e okay so this set is bounded and its lower bound is negative 1 upper bound is 2 also 
any number more than 2 are upper bound. Upper bounds of E. Similarly, any number less than negative 1 are lower bound, lower bounds of the set E. Now, if you consider any finite set, so this set also bounded and its lower bound is negative 1, upper bound 2. Now, there is a note here. If a set has one upper bound, upper bound, then it has infinitely many, infinitely many upper bounds. because so this set has upper bound 2 and it also has infinitely many upper bounds like 2.1 2.3 2.5 uh, 3 4 5 6 and it keep going on okay so if a set has one upper bound then it has infinitely many upper bound similarly if a set has lower bound then it has infinitely many lower bounds. So, then it has infinitely many uh, upper bounds because if beta is an upper bound upper bound of the set E, then the number the numbers numbers beta plus 1 beta plus 2 beta plus 3 and it keep going on are also are also upper bounds of the set e of the set E. And similarly, if a set has lower bound, suppose it has a lower bound alpha, lower bound alpha, lower bound alpha, then alpha minus 1, alpha minus 2, alpha minus 3 keep going on those are also lower bounds okay for example here negative 1 is lower bound and any number less than negative 1 is also lower bounds like negative 2 negative 3 negative 4 negative 5 now in real world if you think suppose this one so this is a three dimensional object so what would be its lower bound lower bound is this one and upper bound is that one okay this surface is the upper bound and that surface or plane is the lower bound. So, it is, it has both upper and lower bound. So, it is bounded set. 